I know nothing about this series regarding DC and the Suicide Squad, but my favorite character right now is Amanda Waller. And you guys are going to say, what are you talking about? I know nothing about Amanda, right? I hear that in the official comics, she is just evil. There's nothing good about her. Not even funny, nothing. But the ending, the anime ending, the whole dance that she was doing. Oh my God. That was peak. And like, I love Amanda. I, I love how bossy she is. I love how sassy she is. She is like the big dog in the house. Don't you dare fuck with me. The whole dance choreography. <laughs> amazing, but that doesn't really like portray her actual character. But I thought the ending visuals are amazing. Great song by Mori too. Now, in terms of the plot, what's going on? Uh, regrouping to the gate to reset 72 hours. Um, Queen is a piece of shit. Princess looks like Harley Quinn. The hero is almost bald. And that's pretty much it. Let's begin today's reaction. Humans versus demons again. Oh, Royal Knights! The animation quality is pretty decent though. Knights of the Kingdom versus Beast of the Empire. <laughs> Okay. Basically, humans are just outmatched here. He's always counting! 30 hours before it goes boom, though. Is a Kai character or nah? Is this Katana Squad? I don't know. This makes me think like it's an Isekai character. Who knows? This is a jail that we broke out of, yeah? That doesn't count as him missing. Because he meant to do a warning shot. If he wanted, he could have hit Baldi easily. Right? You better not miss! The guy who looks like a super stressed out insurance salesman. So now we are understanding that the hairstyle is not a coincidence. They intentionally gave them a cracked out fucking haircut. For just one joke, a balding insurance salesman in his 40s that's super stressed out about his job. Oh my fucking god. I feel bad, man. More ball joke, man. I'm on board, baby. There's no yeah. yeah. Oh no. Oh no. His hair. This is actually worse than I thought. It's, it's still lifting. You see here? If you keep bringing the bangs back, how far does it go back? I think this really is the fucking hairline, dude. Oh, no. Oh, so sad. This is the hero, man. Sacred sword. Fuck you. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. Ow. Wait, 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 wait. Is that King Shark's power? I, it, King Shark has regeneration. That, that was him. That was not, East, that was not the other people. What, what, what the fuck is this guy? What? Can you kill King Shark? Like, what? Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Rick Flag. Kiss your ugly ass over here. <coughs> Sorry, get your ugly balding ass over here. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we're just talking. That's your dumb, stank ass. I'll just stand the words I'm saying. Baldy! That's so mean. <laughs> I mean, the lingo, the language he did learn from the inmates. So obviously the wording, right? The way that they speak is all going to be swear words, right? It's exactly, it's prison vocab. Dumb stank ass. Man, you call him a dumb stank ass, man. Those are dumb stank ass. <laughs> Alright. Alright, dumb stink ass. <laughs> That's more like it, chicken shit. Thank you. Man, poor hero. Alright, Princess Castle. They actually tied up King Shark? That's impressive. Or any isekai anime, yeah. <laughs> He's trying to eat. I was trying to eat the fucking pink perfume thing. Aw, King Shark is too goddamn cute. <laughs> Man, it just sounds so much like Kazuma because it is, right? Gabi to Kazuma, his voice acting, bro. It just. I'm just like listening. I'm like, yay, go to sleep with that. Here's the queen and the princess. You look just like me. What's going on? They look identical, man. No? Oh, thank God! We can, the translation, it's, it's over. We can just talk now. Thank you. Oh my God, we don't need a translator. And I do agree. I think that the queen is intentionally ugly. Like, do you think that the queen is like conventionally attractive compared to the other like, you know, isekai queens that we've seen? I don't think so. I think that they intentionally made her not as attractive as they could. I don't know. Interesting little... I don't know, the fucking makeup there. I don't think she's very attractive, no. Look at her face, I don't think so. It is magic. <laughs> Imagine she didn't cast that and Rick was just like talking. I must be blind. I don't want to fucking hear it from you, dumbass. You're the only fucking Rachel supporter in my chat. I ain't taking that shit from you, Coolio. But uh, imagine, imagine, Tower of God, by the way, Rachel, Tower of God. Anyways, imagine that Rick talks shit to the queen here, saying like, hey, chicken shit. Hey, dumb stink ass queen. Yeah, when there's translation. You suck. <laughs> the Empire! So the purple head guy in the beginning were Isekai characters. Interesting. But hold up, we sent them like a first squad in and Rick was with them, and then now Suicide Squad got sent in to save them, but it seems like they're already working with other people with the Empire? <laughs> Oh. Oh. Oh, we're 2.0. Oh, oh. Katana isn't a hero? Well, Katana heals here, but like other characters, they may not be like the good people. Anyways, we got. What's going on? Amanda sent in Suicide Squad version 1, and then version 2 got sent. What are we doing? We're supposed to get oil. Why, why, why are we at odds? Why are we fighting against the empire? I don't fucking know. Okay. V1 went in, lost control. They doing their own shit. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Oh, I know. 
Send in more fucking idiots, more Suicide Squad, now fucking solve the problem. But Amanda didn't explain shit. Nobody explained shit to us. Blame Amanda Waller. その者が言ったこと。ハ。では証明してみせろ。ファイトヒーロー。<笑><笑> What do you mean? You should be thanking him. Wonder if this season will last like the 30 hours that they have before it goes boom. Feed us, queen. Alright, we're getting dripped up. Oh, everyone got their gear back? <laughs> Dead shot, Harley, peacemaker. Why? So Why is he always so secret of the map? <laughs> Alright. So, so we shall! Alright, now we gotta fight the Empire, and they have their own isekai people with beast humans. Oh, basically now we're in the intro, like basically in the intro they were fighting like this. Okay, okay, so now we're back in the present time. He should keep the helmet on. Like, always. It makes him look way better. I wonder if he's gonna lose the rest of his hair. By the end of the season. If they're gonna like lean in to the bald jokes, I hope they commit and he like loses all his hair or something at the end by the end of the season, bro. <laughs> Jesus, man! We are getting messed up! Ooh. I'm looking. This is the work of the isekai characters then. It must be purple hair guy there. She's a psychologist. That's how she felt before? She got liberated? So before she met Joker, she thinks like she was like still sleeping and like she wasn't truly woke. Her third eye wasn't awakened and she was brainwashed and now she truly understands that she's enlightened. From back in the jail? I mean, if I watched, if I knew like DC heroes and villains, then maybe I could make a guess, but I got no clue. So Deadshot back in the Slammer, Slammer jail back in the day. I don't know, Deadshot's friend? Who knows? Let's see it. Oh, the mud power is pretty useful. Yeah. So he can't just like create a landslide here. Oh. We got buffed. So Harley glowing like that wasn't just the isekai bat? I thought this is the isekai weapon aura, but like, okay. So basically everyone here has gotten some kind of buff. The isekai magic is buffing everybody. Cool. Yeah. 
He went from Logia to somehow Paramecium type now. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Yeah, so King Shark regenerating. Also that? Is that is is that it? Wonder what Peacemaker's fucking oh no power is. Is is it just his counting skills that just improved? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, this game never misses. So buff. Oh no! That was my favorite line from Peacemaker so far. I think it was Rat? <laughs> Bro's name was just Rat? Rat-catcher. He catches rats? I don't think they're very homies. Okay. Back in the jail. <laughs> Yo, relax. I feel like you're trying to protect him, but you're just like personally insulting him. Just, yeah, I know he's a gross freak that just hangs out with rats. I know. I know he's a loser. Yeah, who'd want to hang out with him? But like, are you sure you were our homies, bro? I bet what? I bet his dick is like unsliced bologna. Are we truly friends? Are we are we truly friends? Alright, thanks, that shot. <laughs> We're friends, right? What's up, bro? Cheese. You just picked cheese out of the trash can? <laughs> bro just bullied him. Just taking his food, just insulting him. He thinks he's helping. Deadshot, come on. Bro, let him shit in peace. You buzzed him? You buzzed him while he was taking the shit? <laughs> Listen, if you don't want people giving you shit while you're taking shit, you gotta change your look now. I'm like, where did he buzz? I'm like, did he fucking shave down there? No, it's his hair, right? Just his hair, right? Oh, Q. Oh my goodness. This is the only that the rat can get off. <laughs> So, uh, we have, uh, hentai here, and then we have, uh, something to do with rat's top, and, uh, Mr. Rat is gonna get the rat film instead of the hentai, cause, you know, Deadshot knows what's best for Mr. Rat. He's, a <laughs> He's a rat fu- he He's a furry who's into rat fucking, okay? Give him a chance. Hey, Rato! Hey, Rato! Hey, Rato! Rato! We're not friends. <laughs> You got cool hair now, though. Why wouldn't he be angry? <laughs> That's controlling the beastmen, the staff. Shoot the staff crystal. Shoot the crystal staff! <laughs> nice. Everything! What is bro yapping on about? Alright, Clayface is about to have a main character moment. Okay. There are four? Mm -hmm. oh! Clayface might be the most busted power here so far, huh? Like, his ability to just like... Just make everything into mud as long as we have water. Like, of all the powers here... 
Clayface might be the most cracked. <laughs> Deadshot! Katana! Oh! It's her again! She got a new weapon, and I'm sure they all got powered up too, huh? She's no longer Katana. She is a... What kind of weapon is that? It's a dual-sided halberd. I don't fucking know. Yeah, we remember her. Oh. Damn. It's a powerful fucking frame from Harley Quinn. We saved your asses. Took down this entire fort. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have destroyed the fort. <laughs> if we're just trying to take it. Yeah, we did kind of fuck everything up. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta rebuild this shit now. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Maybe he wanted us to get his hair back too. Yo, these suicide squad members—they're basically like heroes that just fuck shit up and just like makes things like even worse. Then walks away thinking they accomplished something, but it's like, god damn it, because they're not heroes. They're the suicide squad, you know? <laughs> I love them. I love how disrespectful they are. These greedy fat. F Fox eating dessert while everyone's starving. We need to call these boomers, man, from the exec squad. What do you think, Queen? The How many more? Rats, actual rats. They got a rat army. And that is today's episode of Suicide Isekai Squad. And hey, that is finally episode three. And now we're caught up. How do you guys feel about it? I thought that episode one, two, three was overall pretty good. Again, like somewhere ballpark around like seven out of ten so far. Does it have the most interesting story? Not really, but it's keeping it like kind of engaging enough. I'm like, whoa, other, you know, Isekai characters are already here. You know, there's like different limitations of trying to get to the gate and reset our timer. We're getting Isekai powers. Why is the princess looking the same as Harley Quinn? What's going on with the emperor and the queen? It's a pretty decent watch so far. I don't understand all the hate for it, but it's like, you know, I had no expectations. And so far, I thought it's pretty damn entertaining. I love how everything we do. We kind of just like make it worse by like, for example, we're supposed to like recapture the fort and Deadshot's like, what do you mean? There's a couple of repairs. He probably was just mad that he's bald and we just laugh walking away. I love the whole vibe of Suicide Squad and I hope we continue to just fuck shit up and take credit for it. Where will this, you know, kind of go? I'm not sure. Uh, we got to find some of the other Emperor's side and the other Isekai characters and try to understand like, why, why are you on their side right now? It's like, why aren't you helping the king's side? I thought, you know, maybe Amanda intentionally sent the other Suicide Squad to the Emperor's side. And then now she sent over the king's side? Just so that... I don't know. Why would she want to pit them against each other if at the end of the day you just want oil? That's what we're supposed to find out later on. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.